when I was growing up, I grew up, my father and mother had seven children, and I'm the third. Third. Wow. Third. I have an elder sister and uh, an elder brother. I don't know whether they did what I did for the others, but I can only tell you what I did for the others. The other smaller ones. I would be left home and I'll be left with uh, a banana to roast it on fire. And when it's done, the little baby that has been left with me, I would feed that child with that banana. I will become the machine to chew and make sure it is soft enough and then feed them. So this morning when I, I sat there, I said, hey, na mungu umenitua mbali, nimelisha watu na siku shikuwa na temptation ya kumeza. Unatanuka baka inakuwa soft. Now, I don't know whether the older ones did it to me because unapeaga mtoto ambaye hajiwezi na hajui na hata meno hana kwa sababu yakaanza kupata meno atakuuma and life is so interesting because life starts somewhere there is life starts somewhere and there is an expectation from my mother that what she has left me to do I will do and I will do it well there is that expectation from her now some of my peers would be left to do the same but they would eat fast the banana kwanza ashibashibe kidogo and they would say mom wacha mbili moja ni ni kule kwanza nishibashibe kidogo nisiwe tempted kukule ya mtoto lakini chakula chetu kilikuwa mahindi ya white na ukipata mbosho moja umeitafuta huko kwa mahindi hizo inakuwa huko ina swim kwa sababu mbosho was very expensive i thought mahindi was very cheap i thought so as i i sat there number 3 and there are four behind me i fed them natanuka 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 leo ukifanya hivyo mtoto wazazi wa kisasa 844 To start with, there were no nappies in that day, those days. Nappies, tulizijua wakati saa sisi, diyo tulijua kuna nappies. Tukikaka kidogo kwa kuja kagene kana hitu wakalaina. Musini angalia hivi. Nappie ni ngumu, kalaina kalikuwa softer. Wegine meaza kulizana nao ilikuwa nini. Na ukiwachwa na watoto lazima uwe unajua hizo vitu ama mtoto atachomwa na madhugumo Kwa hivyo lazima uwe chonjo ili unaweza kumbadilisha lakini siku hizi ai ikiharibika moja unatupa naweka ingine Yaani maisha yamekuwa poa kuna hizo ma diapers But the expectation again of of the same is that you will be careful to understand when the child is wet so that again you don't leave the child messy you need to know when you can change them so in life what i have discovered and this is what i want to share with you is that as long as in my heart there is something that i'm living for that i'm working towards then my life is not bored at all because i have something that i'm looking forward for looking forward for there are some of you that were not looking forward for this day but the watchmen i am telling you they were looking forward to leave work because sleep was coming but they were still supposed to be awake so they were longing for the day and the bible tells us as the deer pants for the water brooks in the expectation of a brook somewhere may my heart also do the same seek 
that God would fill my heart. And I want to say then this, that your steps are ordered by your expectations. Your steps are ordered by your expectation. As, as I move because of my expectation, my steps then are ordered of what I'm expecting. I don't know why when you are so sick in the house, you feel like you can die. But every time you are taken next to a doctor, you feel like you are going to leave. What happens? This is expectation. Somebody did some experiment. And I shika panya. And I tumbukiza kwa maji. Na maji hiko na, na, hiko na, ameifanya iwe ni kama ina kimbia kimbia uko ndani. Huyu panya, ana, ha, hawezi kuogelea. Kwa hivyo, akamweka panya wa kwanza, na kituimbi kingia ya kaka panya wa pili. Alipo weka wa pili, kabla hafe wa pili, anamtoa. Alafu anamurudisha. Lakini huyu mwingine ya ukimweka hamtoi, akapima akaona huyu ambaye ana expectation, anaweza stahamili muda mrefu. Kwa sababu ado anasubiri, atatolewa. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yani, you are in the same situation, but one has no hope. But the other one, because there are times that they, this person doing experiment can lift them up, they have hope and they can stay in that challenge for longer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the fact that someone is ready to help us, like we have read in our scriptures for this year, that there is someone who wants to help us. God wants to help us. Because of the help of God, we can survive. Tunaweza ka kwamda. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So your steps should be ordered by the Lord. But for most people, it is not. When you confidently expect good things to happen, good things usually happen. When you expect good things to happen, usually good things happen. When you expect negative things to happen, you are usually not disappointed because those still happen. Because the word is usually. Usually. See, so, I, I, I manage everyone. Like in the summer, kwa kawaida, hutendeka hivyo. Umeamini hivi, inatendeka hivyo. Huja amini hivi, inakukuta vile vile. You are not disappointed at all. Remember that your steps should be ordered by the Lord. Because if he orders them, then he, you will, be, you, he, he will meet you with the desires of your heart. I will read a couple of scriptures, maybe three, and then I will share a thought and I will be done. Acts 3 verse 5. Acts 3 verse 5. So he turned to them expecting to get something from them. In another translation, he says, and he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. This is a story of the crippled man who was healed when he paid attention to the servants of the Lord Peter and John. Because expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. We started by saying expect a miracle when you pray. That expectation breeds the miracles that we are looking for. Expectation qualifies you for receivership. When I'm expecting, when I have that expectation within me. That expectation which qualifies me for receivership, it also separates you. It transfers you from the masses who need miracles to the chosen who receive them. Did you get it? You would have said an amen even quietly. Let me say it again. Expectation qualifies you for receivership. But that qualification also separates you. It transfers you from the masses who need miracles to the chosen who receive them. 
So expectation is proof of faith. Hebrews 11 and verse 6. Faith without... It, I have to put some expectation because faith is the substance of the things that I hope for. The evidence of things that I have not seen. So, in other words, you and I can be transferred. We can be changed from people that are just expecting miracle to people that are chosen to receive them. Because expectation is a proof of faith. Hebrews 11.6 But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is. In other words, there are two he is, he is. Yet Kwanza, he is, and then he is. A rewarder of them that diligently seek him. He is, yani, inamanisha marambil, ye and ye, ye and ye. So you're just a rewarder. He is, and he is. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Turn to your neighbor, greet them, tell them, neighbor, expectation is a proof of your faith. You know, we, we, you can just come to church and just, Wewe unatarajia mujiza. Tarajia. Unatarajia mujiza. But your faith is not psyched to that level. I pray that this church, blessed be the name of the Lord, Shiloh, the place of this church, that we can come every Sunday when we come, Monday every time we come for prayer, Wednesday when we come for Bible study, expecting a miracle and a change of our lives. And it is going to happen to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Impossible things then happen to those who expect them to happen. A impossible. In the book of Mark 11 and verse 23, this is the second uh, scripture that I was going to read. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. Utapata. But the, the, the bottom line is that if he believes. Kuamini ni muhimu. Bana Yesu wasifiwe. Kuamini ni muhimu. Hallelujah. Then we go to Mark 10 verse 46 to 52. This is the story of the blind Bartimaeus. Mark 10 46 to 52. Amen. It's coming. There it comes. Acts 10. No, Mark, Mark 10. Mark 10. Sorry. Mark 10. 46 to 52. Mark 10. 46 to 52. Inakuja tu. Subiri tu. Ama ayiko. The blind but Myers. Anyway, he was always at the gate. Are we together there? Always where? At the gate. Always at the gate. Because faith brought him to the gate daily. He came to that place daily. But expectation caused him to receive a miracle. He came to that place daily. But we read about his bold faith when he asked for Jesus to have mercy on him. Crying may get your attention, but it takes faith and expectation to get your miracle. I want I believe you're going to hear what I'm saying so that you don't miss it. Crying is okay and we can all cry to the Lord. We can all cry to him. But crying itself may get the attention of God, but that is not yet. It takes faith and, and expectation to pull the miracle for you. No wonder we can all cry and some of us receive miracles. They re live here with a miracle. And, but we all cried. Some of us cried even more than the others. But it takes faith for expectation. We often overlook the significance of his garment. Of Batamayas. 
During those times, beggars were issued government clothing, signifying they were legitimately disabled. Yani, wanavalishu wakaguo. Ukikaona unajua uyu jamaa, either ni kipofu ama ni kiwete. Serikali inajua wako wapi. Wa Kenya, hawawekagu hizo. Unaweza pita na mtu na kumbe ni blind and ajaribu kufuka barabara. That's why they are told to carry the white cane. Because if you see it, you can know that. But in those Bible days, they were labeled, they were put clothes and so on. It labeled them for all to know and recognize their need. So as Batmaias cried out to Jesus, it says, he threw aside his garment. What was he saying? In other words, here he is, he has a garment and everyone knows. Salimi ya jirani yako, mambia jirani. We umewe kwa nguo? Eh? Kuna wengine hapa tuko na nguo already. Yani it symbolizes, there we are and we are needed. There we are and we are needed. We are there and we are needed. But as Batman cried out to Jesus, it says he threw aside his garment. He, he was saying this, if sometimes we can try to, to let you know what happened to him when he was crying to the Lord. When he was crying to the Lord, he was building his faith. When we cry to God, we are building our faith. But there is an action that is needed. So as he kept on crying, son of David, son of... You, did you know... That as you continue saying something in your spirit, you either believe it and start crying. Even when we sing, uh, that, 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 like the song that I, I love singing, if you would sing it, it's a blessed assurance, or Jesus paid it all, or um, I surrender all. If you dwell there a little bit and open your spirit and see and release yourself, he paid it all. Ukianza kufikiria what you were before and what he has paid for you, utatoa machozi. Na imani lazima ijengeke. Watcha, so don't praise God quickly ukitoka apana. Muabudu mungu katika sifazako because your miracle is just there and it's going to happen. I hope you are hearing what I'm saying. So, but Imaas, for the first time he called, Jesus, son of David. Oh, that sounds nice. Jesus, son of David. Oh, that sounds great. Jesus, son of... Faith is building up. Faith is building up. Faith is building... And when his faith was built up enough, I'm a father of four and three grandchildren. All of them, at one time or another, apart from one, Kwa sababu, kuna moja niretewa akiwa na meno yake thate tu. Kwa hivyo, ni my son lakini, eh? But the others grew with me. The excitement of trying to jump to me so that I can also hold them and throw them up. That excitement. Joy, don't try it now. <laughs> but the faith, the faith that they can jump and I'm strong enough to hold them and then throw them up and they are all smiling and the mother is saying don't don't do that you know mothers you are good you are good okay it's all right but fathers hata nyinyi watu poa sana mtoto ju chua na akimis na mtoto akiwa jua na cheka na furai kwa sababu anajua unless the father is crazy the the child is safe are you hearing what i'm saying so, but my is calling out, Jesus, son of David. I think Jesus, son of David. Their whole idea is, as he called Jesus, and then he goes to the son of David, his mind goes back to the promises that the children of Israel had about the coming of uh, the lineage of David. That faith was building in him. And as he called, he realized there is something that he was on. And that thing will not allow him. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ebu salimi ya jirani yako. Mwambio una nguo gani? Nguo gani? Hallelujah. What he was saying is this. I cannot see yet. I know I am not healed yet. But if Jesus is anywhere in my vicinity... I'm casting this gown away fully 
expecting that I will never go back to that half life of begging again because Jesus is going to give me a miracle today. That's what he was saying. That I'm going to come out from this garment being labeled that I'm not able to. I'm going to pull it out because I know if Jesus is around, tell your neighbor Jesus is around. And if Jesus is around, I'm safe. I'm going for my miracle. No longer bound by this dressing that I have. Some of your dressing, you have to put them down so that you can jump to where Jesus is. Is he able to hold you? Yes, he is. Is he able to throw you up? Yes, he will. Is he able to hold you? Yes, he will. But it is you that is deciding if Jesus is around, man, I'm going to try him. I'm not going to beg again. Now, that is the power of expectation. You can have faith without expectation, but you cannot have expectation without faith. Did you hear what I said? That you know, many of us, wherever we find ourselves, it is possible for us to have faith without expectation. Some people have faith, but they have no expectation. And some of you are here in this church today. But there are some that have come here today. They have expectation. And God is going to do something because you cannot have expectation and lack faith. But you can have faith and lack expectation. Hiya. Expect a miracle every day. If you believe in God, then he will find a way to perform a miracle for you every day. Your part is only to believe in him. Like Batamaya, throw the garment away. And let's go to where Jesus is. Understand that faith has to come first before expectation can exist. If you don't believe that is the will of God for you to be healed, to be delivered, to prosper, to live life abundantly, then it is highly doubtful you expect him to heal you. If you don't have that faith that God can, if God can, then I'll have faith in him and I'll trust him. Expectation is built on faith. But faith doesn't imply expectation is there. Expectation is the manifestation. And that manifestation always proves that you believe and you are ready to receive. Hallelujah. Likewise, when you give, your mo when you give, when you, give you must believe that your harvest has been released and you are expecting it to be manifested to you. Proverbs 24 verse 14 says, There shall be a reward and their expectation shall not be cut off. There is an expectation. Hallelujah. There shall be an expectation. In other words, you expect that your seed will produce a bountiful harvest. Amen? Amen? You believe that that is going to, to happen. Some lady gathered in an obstetrician above Abu Stretia. Mutu kama huyo. Na itako nani? Na na gaino ecologist. Ah wawi, ni mmoja na wawili, lakini wadada walikuwa wengi pale kwa sababu hao wanashughulikia shughuli za wadada, right? And they were there. But to separate them, Daktari alitaka kuwa separate, lakini hakujua atafanya nini. Lakini akasema hivi. All expectant mothers, please come to the right. Half of them went and moved to the right. Half of them. So the question is, what made the expectant mothers what made them? They were carrying something that would come out at the fullness of time. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But you know sometimes wanaume bwana wabariki sana watu wa Mungu. Hatujuagi wakati saigine hatujui nani anabeba na nani hajabeba. Tunaonaga tu mtoto saigine amezaliwa. 
Mnaniangalia namna gani? <laughs> oh, nimekuelewa. Kwa sababu kuna wengine naye aki aki expect anakuaga mdos kabisa. Yaani kila mtu anaona, si ndio? Lakini kuna wengine unasikia wa mama akisema, "I expect." Alafu unaangalia wewe mzee unashindwa, "I expect nini huyu?" <laughs> So what makes the difference is that there were some that were carrying something that could come out at the fullness of time. How many people then in this church know they are carrying something? Because if you know you are carrying something worthy, that you are expecting something worthy, then you'll take care of yourself because an expected mother takes care of themselves. Every woman that is expectant takes care of them because they know what they are carrying is precious. When I was seated there, I asked myself, why, why do they call, are they called expectant mothers? It's because what they are carrying, they are expecting that person to come out. Now, ukiona mama ambaye ni expectant miakayote. Yani miakayote. Amen. I end their account, Daktari. Kuna something problem. Wezi kuwa expected all the years. Miezi tisha ikiisha. And that's why last Sunday we, we celebrated mothers. Si mothers ni watu wanguvu. Mothers ni watu wanguvu sana. Hallelujah. So, you know, some of them, they walk carefully. They are taking care of themselves. Some of them you can see it. It's being seen. But others, until that day. <laughs> Do you know there are some girls ako primary hajui mtiani nafanywa siku hiyo anaenda kupata mtoto acha kuniangalia namna hiyo na hakuona lakini amepata mto sasa unakuta watoto wawili mtoto huyu wa primary na ako na mtoto ama mtoto wa secondary ni mtoto na ana mtoto those things happen but sometimes it is not obvious. Some pregnancies are obvious, but younger ones are not. You may not... Tell them, you may not look like a millionaire. Actually, ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba wengine tuko hapa ukiniangalia do i look like a millionaire so outside it doesn't look like outside it doesn't look like but i'm expectant the potential to become a millionaire is with me here not tomorrow and that's why i normally say don't judge me don't because actually you have no clue. You don't know my road map. I'm expectant. I have faith that God is going to bring it to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. So you may not look like a millionaire right now, but you are carrying the seed of a millionaire. All the millionaires in the house, amen. amen. I like that. Amen. Greet your millionaire friend. We are still talking about the mothers. The heavier ones had stretched and swollen stomachs. The stomachs has to stretch to accommodate the child within. God stretches you to give you more. He calls for more seed, more commitment, and dedication, more prayer, sometimes for sacrifice, etc. So that he can push you. He can stretch you. Here is the key. They did something that clicked up. You know, if the minute they missed their period, they came to the clinic because they knew something is happening and they decided to investigate and know what is happening and fast they are told they are expectant. They start behaving well. Wale hawakusikia hiyo sirudi. Those who are planted 
expect something. But those that are planted and expect nothing, they will get nothing because they're expecting nothing. Have you been tithing? Sowing your precious seed or serving the Lord? Your seed has clicked. Expect to receive a bountiful harvest. Amen. If you believe in God, he will find a way to perform a miracle for you every day. So then why is planting a seed so important, even the seed of believing God? Your seed registers your consent to the word of God. So my seed, as I plant my seed of faith, my seed of believing God, my seed of trusting him, my seed of expecting from him, your seed registers that mimi nimekubaliana na matakwa yako. Because if you want to be a... a mi, salimia jirani yako. Mwambie, kama we ni milionea, ka kama milionea. <laughs> Yesterday, I had a cup of tea somewhere. Uh, my brother-in-law, uh, he bought us some tea somewhere, around five. When we were having tea, we remembered that one time, he wanted to say thank you to a lady that used to work with my, my wife, a friend of ours. She's a lawyer. So he called her, but the lawyer thought, so when they went to a restaurant, this brother-in-law told that, that friend who told my wife later, I'm ready to pay. Now stay like a millionaire. Wacha kuwaibisha mungu na kujaibisha mwenyewe. If I'm speaking to millionaires, why can't millionaires sit like millionaires? Maybe the question is, how do millionaires sit? Millionaires sit like hakuna shida. Bill ikuje. Nitaklia. <laughs> so the first thing you are registering your consent. God, I'm ready. I'm ready. Two, your seed registers your faith in God's method. You are saying, God, I also believe in your method. I'm expecting a miracle. What should you expect to manifest? Be careful what you expect. Huh? But I used to ask if you were. So I register my consent. I also register my faith in, in God's method. The way God is going to deal with me because God deals with me. Preacher alikuambia scripture tatu, sasa ameenda ya tano. Psalms 126 verse 6. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Expect the covenant blessing to manifest. Always expect a higher level of the blessing to manifest. May you experience a blessing, explosion in your life. Expect the favor of God to manifest. Expect your harvest to manifest. Accept the answers to your prayers to manifest. Accept your healing to manifest. Accept the defeat of your enemies to manifest. Expect all blessing pronounced over you to manifest. Expect your breakthrough to manifest. Accept grace to greater things to manifest. Think big. Amen. You don't experience big things by thinking small. Amen. So think big. Behave. Like a millionaire. And when we are walking out here, walk like one. Ata ukikuta majire inajaa kwa barabara, walk like one. Not a chicken that has been rained on. Maybe you are asking, how do a person walk kwa matope? Ana walk kama hawezi kwama. Lakini mtu ambaya na wakopa, anaenda ni kama anaweza kwama. Uta kwama. Taenda uingize mugu ukume. Sharua hiyo maji useme, nothing can happen to me. So in other words, Always accept grace to serve God. Grace to pray. Grace to study his word. Grace to love the unlovable. Grace to give etc. and etc. You have to expect God to do something. What ya kuomba maombi ambao hutaraji mungu? Ah? Omba na utaraji mungu. Expect a miracle when you pray. Hallelujah. Do everything possible to protect what you are carrying. 
Keep yourself pure. See your breakthrough. See your miracle coming. See your harvest flowing. And that will happen in Jesus name. Because it is your expectation. So whenever you come to this church. Expect to have an encounter with God. And be saved. Let this day be a day of your salvation. Not necessarily saying Lord Jesus Christ I come to you for the first time. But God to save you from whatever calamities you find yourself in. Whatever situation you find yourself in. Because when it is called today. It is the day of your salvation. Salimia jirani yako mwambia wakovu wako ni tayari uko hapa. Your day of salvation. Because where two or three are gathered together in my name. We should expect to be delivered and cleansed. We should expect in God to heal us. Expect the God to bring you peace and joy, prosperity, good family, social life, etc. Allow God. Say hello to your neighbor. Neighbor, expect something. You don't expect nothing. Do you know it could be dangerous? Because if you expect nothing and you come to this church, unaza kuona masumni, mandururu, ukifunga macho, pepo, nyoka. Yani, yani, I say, but if you are expecting, you are excited about everything along the way. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So whenever you come to church, expect the Lord to do something. Don't expect to be served. Live to serve. Hallelujah. Expect God to do great things. Expect God to save people. Expect God to change. How many people walked in uh, Merema and walked in Zimmerman? And they are here. You know, let me tell you, you guys that walked, the day you declared that you are going to walk, heavens were open. Amen. And within a few, a few, a few days, kuna klabu ilitoshu wa vitu nyingi sana kwa kupiga kerele. Nikajua hapo mungu ametutuma kwa sabtayari, asha yeyusha. Hapa, tumepata ushindi. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because we are expecting but as you serve the Lord, expect to, to have ridicule people to ridicule you. Expect to serve the Lord in long hours as you wait on his coming and on his kneel. But the questions that you can ask yourself, where do your expectations come from? Do they come from those around you or from the word of God? Are you trying to gain approval of your boss, friend, neighbors, mother-in-law, and etc.? Are you expectation of the future based upon your past experience? That's very limited perspective. Hallelujah. Because none of us understand that God has a plan for us which is better than where I am today. No wonder tomorrow, don't look me in the same address. Because God is changing me. Expect a miracle when you pray. So organize your life around an expected brother expecting a miracle. Plan for that miracle. Prepare for that miracle. Talk about that miracle. Believe in it. Yani, ukienda, ukilala, ukiamuka. Unarudia mujiza ule tu. Unasema kuzu ule mujiza. Unatangaza siku yako ya mujiza diyo hii. Katika jina la yeso. Learn to expect. If you expect goodness of God to flow over your, every portion of your life, then it will come to happen because it is your expectation. Let his goodness and love, his miracles, working power flood you like never before. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In summary, if I want to finish because it is good to finish. It is your longing that becomes your belonging. You never got it. You'd have said an amen there. It is your longing that becomes your belonging. My longing, longing to be a millionaire, becomes my belonging. I turn out to be a millionaire. It is your petition that becomes your possession. It is what I petition to God that God is able to turn it around to be my possession. I don't know what you are petitioning. Remember, I said again, it is your longing, belong, uh, longing that becomes your belonging. I have added your petition becomes your possession. Someone said it like this. What you don't expect, 
you don't experience. But what you expect, you will experience. What you don't desire, you don't deserve. But what you deserve, you desire and you have it. If you don't know what you want, you may die in want. But if you know what you want, you will expect God to do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sinimalizia hapo. Expect a miracle every day. Expect a miracle when you pray. If you believe in God, you find a way to perform my miracle for you. Expect a miracle every day. Expect a miracle when you pray. If you believe in God, you'll find a way to perform a miracle for you. Are you expecting something? Are you expecting something? Would you stand on your two feet? I want to pray for you in the name of the Lord. Our Heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, here we are. Like Batamayas, all what we are going to do is the garment of shame, the garment of embarrassment, the garment of luck, the garment of sickness and disease, the garment of disappointment, the garment of discouragement. Heavenly Father, we want to pull it out. But Father, it is as we stand, we are shouting, Thou Son of David, to have mercy on us where we are. But Father, that is not enough. Because you are here, we want to pull the garment and put it down because we are saved in your hands. Our miracles, our healing, our provision is happening right now in this sanctuary. There are miracles that are going to take place in this sanctuary because you are here where two or three are gathered in your name. You are there. Perform a miracle for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn to your neighbor. Whisper a prayer to the Lord for him or her. Tell the Lord to release that miracle that she or he is longing for. Remember what they are longing for is what becomes their belonging. Remember it is what they are petitioning that becomes their portion and provision in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, Almighty, hear our prayers and attend unto our prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, Lord God, we want to believe that there are miracles that are going to happen in this sanctuary. There will be changes of life that will happen in this sanctuary. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, the heavens declare it and we believe it in the mighty name name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Expect a miracle every day. Expect